Alright guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to move everything from one external drive to another external drive. Uh, now, a lot of people, they have an older external drive, say like a 120 gigabyte or 320 gigabyte, uh, but that's running out of room, so they go out and buy a new 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte external drive, and then they want to know how to copy everything over from their old external drive, uh, which is going to be my Mac Store one right here, to my new internal drive, which is going to be this MyBook one. Uh, right here. So how do we transfer all our crates and database and all that good stuff from the old drive to the new one? Uh, well, out of all the other methods of transferring stuff, uh, this is uh, probably the easiest one of them all uh, compared to moving from internal to external or from uh, external to internal. External to external is actually fairly simple and straightforward and uh, it's not uh, very difficult at all. Uh, but anyway, so uh, let's load up Scratch Live. And as always, just for sake of time and example, I'm only going to be transferring a couple crates and a few songs. Uh, so if we add the location column here in our crate, we'll, we'll see the location of where my songs are located. They are all on my Max Tor drive right now, which is my older and smaller hard drive. And then I'll show you the folder path in a minute. So let's close out of Scratch Live. Uh, so as mentioned, every, the, my Max Tor drive right here is my old one. And this My Book is my new external drive that I want to transfer everything to. Uh, so how do we do this? Uh, well, basically, it's just a simple drag and drop, really. So all we have to do is open up both drives in separate windows. So I'm going to open the Max Tor right here, and we'll open the My Book over here. And basically, all you need to do is just highlight everything on the root level of the Max Tor drive, uh, which, uh, if you're on a Mac, is Apple plus A, or if you're on a PC, it's Control plus A. And basically all you need to do is just drag and drop it over here onto the uh, MyBook drive. Uh, and that's basically it. I actually don't want to copy this folder, so I'm going to uh, not select that one. Uh, but basically, yeah, that's all you have to do. Um, just drag and drop everything on from one drive to another. And basically all you're doing is just creating an, an identical mirror image copy of the one drive to the other. Uh, so I'm going to actually do this folder by folder just to demonstrate uh, some points. Uh, Scratch Live folder, the underscore Scratch Live folder. Uh, of course, if you watch my other videos, this is the folder where your crates and your database are stored, and your subcrate folders. You go in here. These are going to be uh, these are the crate files themselves. So uh, you want to copy this folder. Uh, it has to be on the root level of the drive, and you copy that to the root level of the other drive. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight this, drag that over right there, and that's all you have to do. Uh, and so now all your crates are going to show up on the new drive. Uh, well, let me just show you this real quick. Let's load up Scratch Live. Uh, and if you watch the other videos, you're going to see you're going to have uh, doubles of all your songs now. If we add the location no column now, let's sort by it. Uh, you'll see you'll have all your Max Tour listing drives right here. And then you'll have all the My Book uh, Drive songs right here. Uh, but if we go and rescan ID3 tags, uh, all the files on the my book drive are going to turn pink and missing uh, like so because we haven't transferred the uh, music files yet to the uh, my book drive from the max tour drive so uh, let's close out of scratch live again now we have to copy all the music files from my old max tour drive to the my book drive now all my files uh, music files are stored in this folder right here serato music you open that i got another folder called may 2009 and all my songs are in there uh, so all we have to do is go back uh, to the root level of the old Max Tor drive, and we're just going to, again, just drag and drop this Serato Music folder onto the root level of the My Book drive. And then we won't have to worry about uh, creating all the folder paths correctly because uh, you just drag and drop and everything will be uh, correctly placed in the correct path. Uh, so again, just highlight it, right-click, copy, or Control plus C, or Apple plus C if you're on a Mac. Uh, copy this, go into the My Book Drive, right click and paste, or Control V or Apple plus V, and just paste that there. And uh, this is going to probably going to take the longest time, if you know, if you're transferring hundreds of gigabytes worth of files. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm just doing a couple files, uh, just for time and example sake. Uh, so let that copy. As I mentioned, if you're copying lots of music, this is going to take a while, so go do something else for an hour or two uh, while it copies everything over. Alright, so now that it's done copying over, let's load up Scratch Live one more time now. 
and we still have both drives connected at this point. And as you can see here, um, we still have both listings from the Max Tor drive, my old drive, and my MyBook drive, uh, which is the new drive. Now the, the files are still going to probably be pink and missing on the new drive until we do a rescan ID3 tags again. Uh, so go ahead and rescan ID3 tags. And if you're using the new 1.9 version, remember the, uh, the rescan ID3 tags button has been moved into the files panel. It is no longer in the setup menu, so just click that. And it'll do its thing and rescan the files. And if everything worked correctly, which it should, all the files on the MyBook drive, which is the new external drive, should uh, turn unpink and uh, no longer missing. Uh, and it appears that works. So let's go ahead and test it out. Try and load some files up in the offline player. You don't need to be connected to your SL1, SL357. And as you can see, it's working. The tracks are loading. So everything appears to be working well. Uh, so let's close out of Scratch Lab one more time now. And let us eject the Max Tor drive, which is the old drive. So I'll just uh, eject that, unplug it, and get that out. Uh, where was it? This one. Okay, so now we just have my new external drive, which is the MyBook. Uh, so let's load up Scratch Live one last time now, just to verify. And if everything goes well, there you go. All your crates are still there. And all your songs. And uh, we sort by the location column. As you can see, we don't have anything from... The old Max Tor drive, everything's just my book listing now, which is the new drive. So uh, everything appeared to work well. So just want to go ahead and check one more time, load a couple more songs up. And as you can see, they're loading, everything's working well. Um, and we are successful. We transferred everything over from one external drive to a new external drive. Uh, so that's it. That is how you transfer everything over from one external drive to the other. And as I mentioned, this is probably the easiest uh, one uh, of them all. Uh, it's just basically simple drag and drop from one drive to another. Uh, so there you go, transferring from one external to another.